Pretty nice one. Don't be a good dude. Not a giant. He's just fighting hard. Oh, he's fighting so hard. He's not a bad smallmouth. There we go, boys. Second smallie of the day. This one on the maps that you absolutely tried to inhale. That's why you carry the hemostats, boys. I mean, he had that choked. And I popped it right out of him. Look at that. Beautiful smallie. You saw how hard he fought. That was a small one, too. That's a small one, and they fight like that. Look at that, boys. Beautiful one, and that's on a size 4 Meps Aglia. Dressed with the tail. Sorry, we got a train in the background. Uh, there are train tracks along here. Look at that, our second smallie. First one we caught on the Rapala OG Slim. This one we caught on a Meps Aglia Dressed. See there, dude. Chewie is fighting hard. Another back-to-back -back cast, boys. Back-to-back -back cast, about the same size. Back-to-back -back on the Meps. That's what I was just getting ready to say about the Meps, is it's a... Uh... Oh, relax, but It is a moving style presentation, but you'll be able to catch, it's silent enough and finesse enough that you'll be able to catch multiple fish out of the same hole. Once again, why you always carry the hemostats, back-to-back -back casts, beautiful northern or western Pennsylvania smallies, northern smallie, Appalachian smallie, beautiful hard fighting guy. Look at him, he's got bronze on him and green, tiger stripe, third one already, boys. Summer smallmouth fishing with net spinners. Let's freaking go. I mean, I love the maps. I'll show you guys what we're working with today. Right there. The size four, Meps Aglia, dressed, bronze blade. We went back to back. Good. I can't tell how big he is. I mean, they all fight like crazy. Third one. Third one. In about five minutes. Oh, come here, dude. Oh, he's he's the he's a little bit fatter. He's a little bit fatter. He's a little bit of a fatter one. Nothing giant still, but another nice Pennsylvania smallmouth on the MEP spinner, boys. Look at that. That's three of them quick. You want to catch a bunch of fish quick, just cast it in the shade and just make repetitive casts. Look at that. Another freaking Pennsylvania smallie. Like literally three in five minutes. Three in five minutes, boys. I mean, it's swimming right towards me, boys. That's four of them quick. Look at this. That's a small, small mouth. Look at him fighting. I mean, relax, bud. Another one, boys. There's four bass on the maps quick. It ain't even been 10 minutes. The maps, another smallie. I'm telling you, it's just a smallmouth bass producer. That's four of them in less than 10 minutes on the maps. In less than 10 minutes. Another one, boys. Every once in a while, it's a good idea to go back to your roots. The first fishing company that ever sponsored me, I, they put me in their catalog on their website and they sent me, this is actually one of the free lures that they sent me a couple years ago. Maps is a great family owned company out of Wisconsin. It is a root lure. It's one that you should have uh, used when you were first starting out fishing. If you're a trout fisherman, you're very familiar with these and the Joe Flies. I've always been a fan of the MEPS, especially the bigger MEPS for bass. I've caught some of the nicest fish I've ever caught in my life on uh, 
on MEP spinners, big largemouth and smallmouth. Actually, my first ever true giant smallmouth was on uh, was on a MEPS Aglia number four. This one's just a plain bronze blade, dressed. It's natural. It looks like just a little smallmouth minnow cruising through the uh, creek, but that is a great lure to catch loads of fish quick. I caught maybe seven smallmouth bass within 25 minutes of throwing this thing today. Now it's starting to get too hot to be out here fishing, but all I was doing is casting that in the shade, just little shade pockets. And man, these smallmouth are so much fun. It doesn't matter what size they are. They all fight phenomenal. But if you want to catch a bunch of fish quick, and the other cool thing about a MEPS is you never know what you're going to catch. You have no idea. I mean, here obviously we know I'm going to be getting smallies because it's creeks loaded with smallies. But if there's other species of fish, in your lake or river or wherever you're fishing that bad boy right there will catch them it'll catch every species of fish the apps uh, the maps ugly of four and five i like them dressed and undressed dressed just means it has the squirrel tail on them but i like the four and five for bass and man they just uh, you can slam them and you can slam them quick tyler all my larry fishing bass slingers pro staff baby <laughs> grab some maps family owned american made